Hello everyone, this morning I'm going to get started showing you how to make a delicious corned beef brisket in the crock pot or slow cooker. It is definitely going to have those delicious vegetables that go with that corned beef, the cabbage, carrots, potatoes, and onions. And then I'm going to show you how those flavors are going to come together with a little seasoning packet. So, you guys ready? Let's go ahead and put this one together. First, I'm going to show you our corned beef brisket because I'm going to go ahead and put that in the crock pot. This is a four pounder. It's a flat cut and also this variety comes with its own seasoning packet and it's right in here and I'll show you that. Now with the brisket, you have a choice whether you could either rinse it off. It is brined in a salty water mixture, so if you want to take off some of that salt, you can do that. I'm not going to do that because there's some, you know, it's just flavor in there. So I'm just going to take the meat out and I'm going to place it into the crock pot. And then we'll go over that little seasoning packet that's in the meat right there. Now the corned beef brisket is a tough cut of beef that we're going to make very tender by slow cooking it in the crock pot. All right, I'm going to get that little seasoning pack out, turn the meat over. There we go. Now this is called the vinegar spice packet. Now generally it has mustard seed, coriander seed, allspice, bay leaf, and cloves. You can go to Google and find a good recipe for the spice mix that goes on top of a corned beef brisket. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle my corned beef brisket with the seasoning packet. That's all the seasoning you need. Here are the vegetables that I'm going to be preparing to put into my crock pot. A head of cabbage, one large onion, two batches of carrots, and then I have some yellow Yukon potatoes with some little baby ones, and then I have some red baby potatoes. I'm going to leave these whole. I'm just going to scrub these and get these clean and add all of these. These potatoes I'm going to go ahead and add to the corned beef brisket in the crock pot to cook alongside of it. They have the skins on them. I've just scrubbed them off so the skins will hold the potato together very good and make them nice and soft on the inside. So I'm not worried about these getting too mushy in the crock pot. If you're going to take the skins off and peel them and cut them, I would at that point wait about two hours into the cooking process and add the potatoes. It's just like cooking a roast though, so however you do it with that. Now with the carrots, I'm going to leave them whole. I've already peeled them. I'm going to cut off the ends because these are such pretty carrots, long and thin. And I'm just going to let them stew in with the brisket and the potatoes all at the same time. Now if you want to cut them very small, you can add them later if you want. And just make sure they're nice and tender when you cook them. Let's go ahead and add these to the crock pot. I have a very large onion. I'm just going to take the ends off, the outer layer. And then I'm just going to cut it into eight pieces. I want to leave it pretty chunky because it's going to be in the crock pot all day. Let's go ahead and add this to the crock pot. We're going to add four cups of beef broth. Okay, now I still have my cabbage here. I'm just going to be slicing that up into quarters. We're going to put that in there later, about halfway when this is through cooking. I'm going to add the cabbage. So if you're cooking it on low for about 10 hours, now you can go below 10 hours or a little bit high, what you want to do is check 
your brisket and make sure that it is nice and fork tender and all the way cooked through and your vegetables are nice and soft. Or you can cook it on high for about four to five hours, maybe up to six. Just again, check your brisket and see how tender it is. Cooking it on high will not make it a rough piece of meat, okay? So just give it plenty of time when you're cooking it on high. Okay, so I'm gonna be back. I'm just gonna run through showing the cabbage going into there about halfway through the cooking time. Then I wanna show you what it looks like at the end. So y'all come on back. Now I've cleaned off the leaves off my cabbage and cleaned it off really good. So what I'm gonna do is cut this into small wedges. That's pretty good right there. What I'm going to do is use the rest of the cabbage for coleslaw. So let's go ahead and add this to our crock pot. We still have a few more hours left until the corned beef brisket is cooked through. So we're going to go ahead and start softening this up on top of that. It's looking really good. It smells delicious. So the carrots are still in their shape. They got a couple more hours, the potatoes and the onions, and these are all still gonna soften down. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the cabbage. I'm going right on top. Put some of the juice on top of the cabbage. Give it some flavor. We're going to cook this until the brisket is totally cooked through and nice and tender and the vegetables are all cooked through and tender also. Okay, here's my corned beef brisket with all those delicious vegetables right out of the crock pot or slow cooker. It is so tender. It took about six and a half hours on high and it's just you know, based off the size of your brisket. So you might want to put more time or less time. The potatoes are all the way tender. They have the skins on them, so they kept their shape. The carrots, because I put them in their hole. And then we have the cabbage, and I've got the onions over here also. All right, I'm going to put a little bit on a plate and give it a try for you. Mmm. It is so tender. I love the flavors in it. Make sure that y'all cook that with a broth. Mmm, goes all the way through that. A lot of people tend to cook the corned beef brisket with water in the seasoning packet, but I like to add that additional flavor of that beef broth. Now, one time before when we made it just in the Dutch oven, we added beer to it also with the beer, with the uh, beef broth, and it was really good too. So there's just many ways you can do this. All right, y'all let me know what you think of my corned beef brisket in the slow cooker down below in the comments. Don't forget to give me a like. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see you on the next episode.